Okay, this is day two of Hacker Rank's 30 Days of Code. This is called Operators. And basically this is uh, figuring out the total cost of a meal that you uh, usually don't have to do this. It's usually done on the receipt, but maybe this is what the computer does uh, before the server brings the, uh, the check to you. So uh, what we've got here is a function that was defined uh, for us, get total cost of meal. And you can see at the very end, it's going to be executed. It's going to print the total cost of the meal is, and then the total cost of the meal right here, and then the word dollars, uh, which means we're going to need to change the output into a string. But you can see that that is done for us already. Uh, and the total cost is uh, already being rounded for us. Uh, so what we need to do is uh, perform the calculations in order to uh, in order to get to uh, <coughs> okay welcome to uh, day two of Hacker Rank's 30 Days of Code. This is called Operators. And basically what we're doing here is performing the computations that uh, the server's computer would perform before they bring you the check. Uh, we're gonna take uh, the cost of the meal as input and a tip percent as input and a tax percent as input. And we're gonna perform those computations uh, in order to get uh, the final cost. So what we start with is this function that was uh, written for us, uh, get total cost of meal. Uh, it's going to receive the input here and return a string of the total cost. And finally, uh, the, the program itself will print the total meal cost is and then the cost and then the word dollars. So we need to do the computations here. We need to write a calculation for tip, a calculation for tax, and a calculation for total cost in here. So let's do this. So the tip is going to be um, the tip percent times the meal cost uh, times, now I'm assuming that percent is going to be uh, returned in, uh, it's an integer value. So it's going to be from zero to 100. You know, in fact, why don't we uh, verify that before we start writing code? Why don't we do this to get started? Um, we can print all three variables that we're going to receive. And this is one thing that I'll do uh, often is uh, print the input that I receive so that I know what I'm working with. Uh, so we're going to run, let's just run that real quick and we'll see in the output what we have to work with. And it looks like we have uh, an error here. Uh, we need to put some value here. It, it can't just say equals and then have nothing there. So I'm just putting the keyword none there. <clears throat> and it looks like uh, it printed. 12.0, 20, and 8. So indeed, the tip percent is an integer, and the tax percent is an integer, as we noted. So we're going to actually need to convert those. Uh, we're going to need to handle that, right? We're going to need to convert those in our computation. So the tip is going to be the tip percent times the meal cost. And to convert a percent back to... Um, you know, a ratio, we're going to multiply times uh, 0 0.01. And we're basically going to do the same thing for the tax, the tax percent times the meal cost times 0 0.01. Let's get rid of this print statement. We don't want that to run in our final code. Um, you know, and as we get uh, into later lessons, I'll show you a little trick I do with my print statements. Uh, but let's not do that today. Uh, let's get rid of this, uh, this comment here, right? Your total cost calculations. This is actually a, uh, also a way to do commenting in Python three. Uh, no, this is a multi-lane string. What am I saying? All right. We're going to calculate the total cost here 
and we're going to do that with uh, meal cost plus tip percent plus tax percent and that's going to be the total cost of the meal uh, <clears throat> we should put spaces in between our pluses here just for good uh, Pythonic code. Let's run it to see how well it works. And we are getting the wrong answer. So we need to troubleshoot this. What are we doing wrong? Uh, we should be getting 20% uh, of the meal cost which that should be happening right here. You know what, let's, let's print, uh, let's do some debugging here. Let's print tip and tax uh, after we comp uh, compute them here. So it looks like tip is coming out to, ah, I know what I did. That was pretty silly. Uh, I added in tip percent and tax percent when I wanted to add in tip and tax. Uh, let's run that. Okay, and that looks good. And you know, just to, I am actually going to leave that in because I want you to see that I make mistakes all the time, and that's that's just part of programming. Um, if you didn't make mistakes, you wouldn't have anything to figure out. So uh, let's submit our code. And it's running it. Now it's not just running it against two cases, it's actually running it against four. Uh, let's see here. Uh, just to go over what we did, we calculated the tip, calculated the tax, we added all three together, and the rest was already done for us. So that is uh, day two operators.